Biomechanics Principles number 7. A thorough understanding of biomechanics of the subtalar joint is mandatory before managing foot deformities in children. A thorough and working knowledge of the biomechanics of the foot and of the subtalar joint complex in particular during walking is mandatory for accurate assessment and management of foot deformities in children. The functions of the foot include provision of a stable but supple platform that helps it accommodate to the changing terrain below and to propel the body in space. The subtalar joint is the foundation that adapts to the ground during the early stance phase of gait, followed by conversion to a rigid lever during push-off. At heel strike, the tibia and fibula are internally rotated. The subtalar joint is everted, up and out, dorsiflexed and externally rotated. This eversion of the subtalar joint, so-called unlocks the subtalar joint, makes it supple, makes it a shock absorber for the earth. Throughout the stance phase of gait, the tibia and fibula gradually externally rotate, and the subtalar joint gradually inverts from up and out to down and in. And finally, before push-off, before toe-off, the tibia and fibula are maximally externally rotated. The subtalar joint is maximally internally rotated to a locked position of inversion down and in. Now there's a rigid lever where the only possible moving part upon plantar flexion is at the ankle joint. So when the triceps surrey, the Achilles tendon, the calf muscle contracts, all that power pulls up on the calcaneus, the entire rigid lever of a foot, pushes the ground away, and that initiates toe-off and swing phase gait to the next heel strike.